701 years before the birth of Christ. And the mighty armies of Assyria march out to conquest and to war. Led by King Sennacherib, son of Sargon, their hosts swept westward. Westward through Syria, west to the Phoenician shores, crushing all who dared to oppose them. Sidon crumbled before their weight of arms. With Tyre besieged, King Eleuleus fled to the Isle of Cyprus. The cities of Ashdod, Ammon, Moab, and Edom surrendered, and the Assyrian hordes thundered on, on toward Jerusalem, the holy city of the Jews. There, the last broken but courageous forces of Israel had gathered. Preparations for a final and all but hopeless stand were made under the leadership of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Sergeant, sergeant of the guard. What do you see, sentry? Someone comes. Oh, your majesty. Oh, that feather of dust. <laughs> Probably a messenger, Your Majesty. Not one of ours. You see those flashes of light? Yes, sire. Only Assyrian chariots carry knife blades on their wheels. Notify the captain of the guards. Signal for a parley. Eliakim. At your command, Majesty. Take Shebna the scribe and find out what our pagan friend has on his mind. I am Eliakim, keeper of the household of Hezekiah, king of Judea. Tell your Hezekiah that the great king, Sennacherib of Assyria, says thus. On what can you put your confidence now? On help from Egypt, that broken reed? On your god, Jehovah, who has been powerless against my king thus far? Certainly not on the few remaining men you have. We have sufficient to... Ah, if each of your men could grasp ten reins, I and your women and children too, you'd not have enough to hold the horses of our chariots. This is Sennacherib's offer. Kneel before him, surrender your pledges, and he'll give you 2,000 horses, if you have enough men to ride them. Let us lower our voices, or speak in Syrian. It is not wise to discuss treaties in the hearing of those who man the walls. Indeed, they're the very ones who should hear the words of Sennacherib. Listen, you starving ones. Hear the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. Your one hope is to make peace with Sennacherib. Lay down your arms and he'll give you food and wine, water from his cistern, lead you to a land of grain and vineyards, a land of plenty. Are you still dreaming that your Jehovah can save you? Ask yourselves, have the gods of other nations saved them from the might of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arphad? Where are the gods of Sparvaim? Speak, men of Judah, what is your answer? Afternoon, as Hezekiah prayed for help, the vast Assyrian hordes advanced on Jerusalem. When darkness had fallen, two daring men slipped out by the small gate.
Who's gonna hone that thing all night? A dull blade binds in the bone. Man needs rest before a battle. Think of the loot we'll miss if we're not in the front line by daybreak. And then he said, think of the loot we'll miss if we're not ready by daybreak. Had you any chance to count their numbers? It would have been like counting the blades of grass. Their campfire stretched to the farthest hills, Your Majesty. You've done well. Eliakim, see to the sentries. Have the others get all the rest they can. I dare say we'll all be busy very early. Your Majesty, the prophet Isaiah. Your Majesty. I've spent much of the day in the temple praying. I was about to go again, perhaps for the last time. Will you come with me? There is no need, Your Majesty. The Lord Jehovah has given me his answer to your prayers. Yeah. He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there. Neither shall he come before it with shields. For I will defend this city to save it, for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. For mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. Even as Isaiah had prophesied, the rising of the sun brought no attack. Only a distant cloud of dust marking the route of a retreating army. And when Hezekiah led a scouting party to investigate, the Lord had struck the camp of the enemy, slaying 185,000. And the few warriors of Assyria who survived fled to their native land. All the people of Judea joined with their king in giving thanks to the Lord. And in the days that followed, the Lord revealed many things to Isaiah, matters of such importance that he had them written down for the guidance of his people. The Lord has told me, Your Majesty, there will be no more warfare in your lifetime. But in the years to come, there will be great trouble for our land. Jerusalem will be destroyed. Our people will be made slaves. But this will not be for all time, for he promises to send the Messiah, a savior for all men. The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. He shall come from the root of Jesse and the spirit of Jehovah shall be upon him. And in that day, he will stand as an ensign of the people. Unto him will all nations seek. And his resting place shall be glorious. The years passed by, and the centuries, and all that Isaiah prophesied was fulfilled. Jerusalem felt the iron heel of many conquerors. But through freedom and slavery, bondage and rebellion, the words of Isaiah were not forgotten. He shall come from the root of Jesse, and the spirit of Jehovah shall be upon him. Centuries later, in the land of Judea, during the reign of Herod the Great, the devout continued to pray for the fulfillment of the promise. In the village of Nazareth, among those who prayed, was a young maiden named Mary.
your betrothed works late. He is making a chest for our home. And an angel appeared unto Mary and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Son of God. According to thy word. Very soon thereafter, Mary left to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Meanwhile, in Nazareth, Joseph was troubled by her departure. Joseph. Good afternoon. Oh, here, let me. There's, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Indeed? Ever since Mary left this morning, does she want to break our betrothal? Well, she said nothing like that to me. And I'm certain she would have mentioned it if the thought had entered her mind. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Didn't I hear her say she loved you when we bade her goodbye? Yes, she did, but... But what, Joseph? Why did she leave so hastily with no word as to how long she'd be gone? And with our wedding date agreed upon? If only your kinswoman had sent for her, if she had been ill, if there had been some reason for her going. There is a reason, Joseph. The angel of the Lord appeared to her in a vision. And told her to go? But why? Why Mary? We cannot question his wisdom. The things he wants us to know, he will disclose at his time. But I'm sure Mary loves you. Why, well, I'm as sure as I am that, well, that she'll come back to us. And Mary came into the hill country of Judah. Having come to the city of Judah, Mary entered the home of her kinswoman Elizabeth, the wife of Zacharias. And she entered the house and greeted Elizabeth. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed, Blessed are you among women. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to 
generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his posterity forever. Mary abode with her kinfolk for about three months and then returned to her own home. It was then that she told Joseph of the message given her from God. And Joseph, hearing these things, was deeply concerned. Until one night, when as he lay asleep, an angel of the Lord came to him and said, Joseph. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who will save his people from their sins. So, Mary and Joseph became husband and wife. Hear ye, hear ye. To all subjects dwelling in the lands of Syria, Israel, Samaria, and Judea, by command of His Excellency Gaius Caesar Octavianus, August ruler of the Roman Empire, all the world shall be counted, listed, and taxed. What? More taxes? Isn't there any end of the taxing? Silence, you dogs. In obedience to this command, all men and women shall within 30 days return to the cities of their forebearers, there to be enrolled. Failure to obey will be punished by death. <laughs> the cities of our forebearers. It won't be an easy journey for you. I've always wanted to see Bethlehem. Not long thereafter, Joseph and Mary started the long journey on the road to Bethlehem, the city of their forebearers. Last, they saw the lights of Bethlehem in the distance. Am I a servant? No. Am I a slave? No. I'm your wife and entitled to a little consideration. Oh, my dear, I know, and my feet hurt too, but with all this business... Business or no business, I'm going to bed. You're the keeper of this inn? Yes, my lord, yes. Uh, unfortunately... I need lodging for myself and my family. I'd be honored to supply it, but my rooms are filled to overflowing. One room will do. At any other time, Your Excellency, but with the enrollment going on, half the people of the world on the road, I... <clears throat> I've already rented the servants' quarters, even my son's room. There's nothing left. Nothing at all. Except... 
Three coppers for a mug of green wine. A silver coin for sleeping space on a mud floor. Another for a piece of this moldy mutton. Mutton? That's lamb. It tastes like old camel. Well, if it isn't fit for your fine taste. At these prices, I'll eat my fill if it kills me. Uh, I have to go out for a moment. Now, when I'm gone, give a message to my wife. Yes, Master. Tell her to spend the night with her sister. I've just rented our room. Just a moment. If you're looking for a lodging, it's not here. The inn's full. Are you sure? I should be. It's my inn. But I must have shelter for my wife. Well, then ask through the town. Knock on every door. I have for hours. My wife is going to have a child. It's almost her time. Oh, well, I wish I could help. Look, there's a stable down back of the inn. It's not much lodging, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Wait a minute. Here, take this. No point in guiding anyone else to this door tonight. Stay here, Mary. I'll have to find some other place. This will be quite all right. Please help me down, Joseph. After all, before David was a king, he was a shepherd. He must have spent many a night with his flock. That night, in the hills nearby, there were shepherds guarding their flocks. Here now, youngster, hold still. Eleven travelers in that last party. Why, that makes more than, more than five scores since the sunset. You're supposed to be watching the flocks, not counting the people. Month in and month out, I can see sheep. Once in a lifetime can I see the roads crowded from dawn to midnight. Even so, you are still watching sheep. What? Human sheep. The sheep of Israel. Leading obedience to the orders of Rome. Trotting peacefully to the governor's shearing pens. This isn't a shearing, just a tallying. An enrollment, a census taking. First a tally, then a clipping, then a census, then more taxes. More taxes? You really think so? I don't think I know. With the Romans, it's always been more, and more, and more. And will be until our shepherds' crooks turn to spears. That kind of talk, I don't like it. It can start trouble. Well, after all, we're part of their empire. They extended their treaty of peace to Herod. Treaty? A privilege to live on their lands that once were ours, as long as we pay taxes, bow to them, bend their will. Our time will come. It was promised by our prophets, written in our scriptures, that a messiah will come to our people. Yes, but when? Who knows? We must wait, have patience. I have waited all my life. A day and a night. Our people have waited over 700 years. We have had leaders before. Jeroboam the younger, Judas Maccabee, Hezekiah, it will be well worth a hundred centuries of waiting for the greatest of all. In every generation, our young men have said, soon, soon, and dreamed their dreams. I did in my youth, and my father, and his father before him. So perhaps will your children, and your children's children. Perhaps. But as long as we know the Messiah will come someday, our task is to wait. Wait and be good sheep. Aye, good sheep, but at least sheep with a hope.
And as they watched over their flocks, lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And they were afraid. And the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you glad tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. child? Of course. The Savior. Yes. Yes, the Savior. Then you know. The angel of the Lord appeared to us. Tonight, in the hills. There were many with him. Many. All singing the praises of God. It was a wonder beyond all wonders. And so to the world, God's greatest gift was given. The only begotten Son of God. The Prince of Peace born of a virgin and cradled in a manger. <laughs> 